The cause of the tragic AI-171 crash involving an Air India Boeing 787 has finally been revealed, and it's far more shocking than anyone thought. In the hours following the disaster, countless theories emerged, ranging from engine failure to sabotage. But the preliminary investigation has pointed to a shocking conclusion that is now sending shockwaves through the entire aviation industry. So what exactly led to the AI-171 catastrophe? And is the Boeing 787 truly the flying coffin people fear it might be? Join us and find out. On the morning of June 12, 2025, Air India Flight AI-171, a Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner carrying 230 passengers, 10 crew members, and two pilots, plunged from the sky just moments after takeoff. What followed was a fireball of unimaginable magnitude, leaving behind shattered metal, scorched earth, and hundreds of lives reduced to memories. The crash claimed the lives of 260 people, nearly everyone on board, and 19 more on the ground. It marked India's deadliest aviation disaster in nearly two decades. But what truly stunned the world wasn't just the scale of the catastrophe, it was the reason behind it. According to black box data and flight monitoring systems, AI-171 lifted off at exactly 8.839. By 8.850, it had reached a steady climb at 180 knots. But then, in less than a heartbeat, the unthinkable happened. Both GE NX-1B engines lost thrust simultaneously. The Dreamliner's propulsion system had been severed in a single catastrophic instant. What could have caused such a deadly failure? A preliminary report from India's Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau, AAIB, revealed a jaw-dropping discovery. Both engine fuel control switches, intended only for use on the ground, had been manually moved from run to cutoff while the aircraft was mid-air. This is an absolute taboo in aviation because it will stop the fuel flow to both engines in flight. As a result, within 20 seconds, the aircraft plummeted and slammed into the dormitory of BJ Medical College, leaving behind a 300 by 120 meter swath of devastation. In the hours after the crash, speculation ran wild. Engine failure, bird strike, software bug, terrorism. But each theory was swiftly dismissed by the investigators. This wasn't a case of mechanical failure. The 787-8, built in 2013 and routinely maintained, had no known critical issues. While a few MEL items, minimum equipment list, were active, including minor problems with the nitrogen system and secondary sensors, none were linked to engine control. A 2018 FAA advisory had warned of potential disconnect risks in similar fuel control locks on Boeing aircraft, but compliance was still based on the captain. What raised even more alarm, there is no accidental activation in this case. The Boeing 787's fuel control switches are protected by a two-step safeguard designed to prevent this. For both switches to be flipped to cut off mid-flight was not only highly irregular, a move so unlikely, so deeply safeguarded, that investigators initially refused to believe it had even occurred. So, what is the mystery behind this? But wait, if you're still here, thank you for staying with us. If you found this meaningful, We'd truly appreciate it if you could like, share, and subscribe. It helps us keep telling stories that matter. Thank you truly. To uncover the truth behind this mystery, we must return to the cockpit, to that exact morning, and trace what really happened in those final irreversible moments. Now, all attention shifts to the only two people who could have touched those switches, the captain and the first officer. According to official procedures, the first officer, just 32 years old, was the pilot flying during takeoff. He held a commercial pilot license with 3,400 total flight hours, including 1,100 on the Boeing 787. Sitting beside him was the captain, aged 56, a veteran aviator with an airline transport pilot license and more than 15,000 hours in the air, over half of them on the Dreamliner. He was supervising. The cockpit voice recorder captured a chilling fragment of dialogue. Why did you cut off? I didn't. In that instant, both men understood something had gone terribly wrong. They immediately flipped the fuel switches back to run. But it was already too late. The engines, even functioning perfectly, require precious seconds to spool back up. As a result, 15 seconds later, Flight AI-171 slammed into the ground. But how? How could such an event unfold? In the cockpit, right after takeoff, the workload is intense. Pilots monitor thrust, altitude, system warnings, crosswinds, and more all within a narrow window of time. 
Under such pressure, even a fleeting lapse can become fatal. Yet this wasn't a single error. Both fuel switches, protected by deliberate two-step activation, were flipped to cut off in mid-air. The odds of both being triggered accidentally are astronomically low. So if this wasn't an accident, what was it? Could it have been a procedural misunderstanding? A breakdown in cockpit communication? A fatal misinterpretation of the switch layout? The AAIB is now peeling back every layer of this enigma, reviewing the crew's simulator records, assessing behavioral patterns, scrutinizing their rest cycles and diving into psychological profiles. Was this cognitive overload, fatigue, a split-second misjudgment, or something darker, a flaw so subtle it's gone unnoticed until now? But the human angle is only part of the suspicion. Aviation engineers are now re-evaluating Boeing's cockpit design itself. While anti-accidental mechanisms protect the fuel switches, investigators are asking whether their ergonomics, or perhaps even their labeling, might lead to confusion in high-stress scenarios. This isn't the first time such questions have surfaced. Previous incidents have raised concerns that cockpit interfaces, while advanced, may not always align with instinctive human behavior under stress. Then comes the matter of standard operating procedures. Were fuel switch protocols adequately reinforced during recurrent training? Pilot unions and safety analysts have long warned that real cockpit dynamics during takeoff don't always match textbook scenarios. Under immense pressure, memory and instinct don't always align, even among seasoned flight crews. Moreover, the deeper issue is modern training itself. As aircraft become more automated, pilots are increasingly trained to manage systems, not fly manually. But when chaos strikes, when milliseconds matter, there is no algorithm that can think for them. In light of the AI-171 disaster, several training centers are already revising their simulator scenarios to include high-pressure switch failures, where instinct and decision-making must collide in real time. Regulators immediately moved. India's DGCA has launched a full-scale audit of switch labeling and fuel management procedures across every Boeing aircraft in Indian service. International bodies, including EASA and the FAA, are quietly re-examining standards around critical switch placement and interface design. Because AI-171 has revealed something uncomfortable, that even a perfectly functioning machine can fall from the sky if given the wrong command. And that's exactly what happened here. The Boeing 787, a modern, high-tech aircraft built to handle emergencies, didn't malfunction. Everything worked as it should. Warning systems activated. Backup systems stayed online. But when the fuel switches were turned off, the plane simply followed the command. It didn't know it was a mistake. It just did what it was told. The real mistake wasn't what we believed it to be. The fault didn't lie in hardware, nor in software. The failure came from within the cockpit. That one action, perhaps a misstep, perhaps a misunderstanding, silenced two engines and sealed the fate of 260 lives. And in doing so, it exposed a haunting truth about the illusion of automation safety. In an era when machines are trusted to do more than ever, it is still the human at the controls who can override it all, for better or worse. What followed was devastation beyond words. The Dreamliner struck a student dormitory, where hundreds of young people were in the middle of their final exams. Six buildings were torn apart, dozens were left injured, some critically, the right engine tore free as it hit a rooftop water tank. The tail was found embedded deep inside another wing of the building. Beyond the technical and procedural fallout, the emotional toll of AI-171 is profound. Survivors, families, and even investigators have spoken of the lasting trauma, nightmares, guilt, and silence. Some air traffic controllers who handled the flight's final moments have since taken leave, unable to return to work. In aviation, a field built on precision and calm, such emotional tolls are rarely discussed, but they are real. More than 260 families were shattered that morning, but numbers can't capture what was truly lost. One mother lost both her husband and her son. An 11-year-old boy looked up at his grieving mother and asked, Why did Daddy die? A question no one could ever answer. No investigation, no technical finding, can ever make sense of that kind of pain. But the truth, as unbearable as it may be, must be brought to light. Not to point fingers, not to reopen wounds, but to ensure that what happened to AI-171 will never be allowed to happen again. The ripple effects are also being felt across the global aviation community. Airlines are rechecking fleet-wide systems. Pilots are calling for renewed focus on crew resource management, mental health support, and fatigue monitoring. 
Manufacturers, especially Boeing, now face intense scrutiny not only for their designs, but for how they communicate system limitations to the people who use them. AI-171 has become a turning point, not just for investigators or regulators, but for everyone who steps into a cockpit. It's a tragic reminder that even the most advanced aircraft can be undone by the smallest of human lapses, and that safety, ultimately, is not about technology. It's about trust, vigilance, and the human mind under pressure. The road ahead will be long. The investigation may take months, perhaps over a year. Experts will re-examine training protocols, conduct psychological reviews, and scrutinize every moment inside that cockpit. And once again, the world of aviation is left with a sobering reminder. No matter how sophisticated the technology, no matter how many systems are built to prevent disaster, the human factor can still change everything. Flight AI-171 never made it home. But if anything can be salvaged from its ashes, let it be this. A lesson in humility. A reminder of how fragile control truly is. And a heartbreaking proof that sometimes, a single mistake, is all it takes to change everything.